Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Matty J Play, some more PGA Tour 2K23. It's the beginning of the week, which means it's your weekly walkthrough of the TGC Tours Challenge Circuit event. This week, it's the Oceanic Airlines Open at Kingfisher Island by Great Bunny 71529. So let's check out the course for you. This is four pins, obviously, and they do play all four pins in the Challenge Circuit. Red, green, and white tees. Um, so, range from 6,800 6, yards to 7,300 yards. So, the range in yard it is to par 72. The default positions are firm, firm, medium. But let's check out what we're playing in round one. So, you're playing the 7,350 yard T. You are playing pin set one. You are low wind speeds. Default wind direction, default, default, moderate green speed. So, what's that? 140s, 130s? Default, default. Okay, so the fairway firmness, let's just double check that. It was fairways are firm, greens are firm. There we go. Let's go. Oceanic Airlines, Kingfisher Island, TGC Tours, Challenge Circuit, round one walkthrough. Um, been getting better with my swing tempo and timing, guys. I've been figuring out this controller, how to hold it, how to swing Hello it. There, um, I do feel like I have to push it down to the right and up to the left quite severely and it forms a semi straight line if i don't push it up to the right quite severely i have such a right pull so par four opener 446 yards big fairway but it looks like unless you land in this middle spot you're either kicking off to the right or kicking off to the left so tricky little fairway let's see if we can land bang up right, the middle have a good round today and there we go guys there. there's a show of my my swing and my timing's getting better too. So I'm pretty happy with my game right now. Yeah, um, I'm not scoring great. Um, although I just had the best back nine I think I've ever had in a different society. So I might put that video up just of the back nine, no commentary, but look out for that one. Cause it was one of the best back nines I've played in this game. Um, okay, 143 in, two down. I got a 142, I'm into five mile per hour wind. So I put a touch of loft and a touch of spin on this entry shot my feet are going right the wind's going left my swing will go straight and that should Coming be all over it oh just kicked yeah, right it was a glorious way. shot and john that was out of the top shelf as i said guys i feel like my game i'm on the cusp of something really good i've been tweaking and playing and i'm not been scoring while my Handicap's been plummeting, okay, but I've so finally like found something that works, but it four. takes so much concentration. One slip in concentration, and my shot will end up like in these trees over here quite easily. Um, tricky little par four, so the safest bet is to play up here and hope it kicks right, but that's, that's a risky shot. I'm going to aim for here and hope I clear these bunkers. And I purposely fasted that one. Just to make sure of it. And it kicks on up and we're going to have a nice little shot through the trees here. So this will be fun. 125 in. I got a 130, which I think I will play. 124, 125, 120. It's playing around 126. So we'll do a touch of loft and touch of spin like on the last one. Play this round the tree. I should again be pretty close. Hop and stop. Dialed in, didn't you? So green speeds, one, three, four. Didn't really get to look at them on the last hole. So this just breaks hard at the hole, left to right. So we'll aim just outside left edge. And it should, oh, wow. No, that is a mystery. That kicks left off my feet there. Didn't see that at my feet. That kicked hard left off my feet. That should have just rolled straight up to the hole and broke in. Missed opportunity there then, from right, 130 out. Should be making a birdie. A nice opening two holes for you. That just took off off my feet there, that putt. Not seen that for a while. It can happen. So you got a long, oh, this is a horrible, because you catch this hill, you're down the bottom of that green. You got to really catch this side. But this is a tough, this is a tough, tough hole at this yardage. I'm going to hit the 196 and hope I catch this hill and see what happens. Don't like this hole at all. We'll put some spin on it. 
Now, I wanted to be over this side, but I've gone too far there. Kick I was well. so scared of it, I hit that very slow. It's going to leave a horrible putt. Just an nice awkward, awkward pin. That is his TGC tours. We don't have it simple. 39 feet, so you got to make maybe one or two of these around to be competitive. As I say in a challenge circuit, guys, if you are new here, four to six under a nine is what you want to be aiming for. That'll keep you competitive in the challenge circuit. So it could be. And that one's just oh. going to squeak right. Not a bad effort. For the par. And we're one under through three. That one you'll stay right there at one I'd say the first two relatively short par fours, you know, leaving your wedges in. Should be scoring on that par three is tricky. Tee Won't be many people making a birdie now. on that par three. You have to get a bit lucky. You can potentially ace it if you catch that hill and run down. Um, shy of the ace. Going to be off one. the bottom of the green. The wind didn't take me at all there. But we'll be just up this right-hand side of the fairway. On the par five. And we have 258 in. And we have exactly a 258 club. So we'll put a touch of D-loft on this. Which takes distance off. My feet are going to send it right. The wind's going to bring it back to the left. I'm going to aim at the hole. Because I do swing. tend to chunk That's things. Right. And I chunk that horribly that's the problem with me so my good swing is good my bad miss um will Let's be a heavy slow playing there that's uh, um, i play for fast but it regulation. would be a heavy slow is always my bad miss i don't know why every now and then i just one, four, don't eagle. quite push things forward so we're a foot downhill so when you got downhill foot, putt sort of foot guys you have to play this you have to just bring this right in and play a lot of the break at the start and then it'll hopefully it straightens up. So that's the break played. And then it should. Oh, that's not bad. That's a good effort. But you saw how much I brought this that in, guys. I think people don't bring so in their so downhill good. putts enough and end up flying by. Down to two under after that one. So it's an eagle of all five. Not an easy one because you're going to take a three wood in. It's a driver and three wood par five. So it's hard to control and stop. Even with my chunk, though, I ended up oh, on the green. So. To go here on the fifth hole. Okay. Par 4, 5th, 449 yards. Play up this left-hand side. Let the wind bring me back. Just gotten a bit loosey-goosey with my swing, too. Keep forgetting to pull right. down to the right. And this one's so about 125 we'll do a little hard out. reset of my brain. Now, I might deal off the 115 weirdly here. I, I've learned that I'd rather be short than long on these Shots, sort of approaches uh, trying to loft up a 130 is a lot harder than deloft in this 115 well done, and that worked out nicely so right, three feet i have up. been adept in my game of late your score down playing to be under. lower the hole um i realized i switched back into a really bad habit that i got myself out of a while ago right, where i was playing the exact hole yardage here. which long par four. wasn't getting me anywhere long par four those adventurous golfers can try and bounce off the bridge. <laughs> um, I think that's going. I think I'm going to have to lay back here. Mm, yeah, I'm going to play the three wood down here. You managed to get a good swing. Play on the that. three wood. I think my um, driver was just going to overrun. I didn't fancy D loft in it. To be fair, okay. got 300 yards Six out of that. On the sixth. Leave me 188 in. 181. I'm going to. Deal off this, and hopefully this carries up there. This might be front bunker, but I can't hit the 196. I don't think you're going to like this. I think I will, John. It should kick right, which it does. I had, I had more faith than you, John. Don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know Boring what you're thinking either, that. dude. But that's all right. Under par if you can sink this right here. We all make mistakes. All right, 14 foot putt, one inch up, breaking quite. Nicely left to right. This one's on a good line. Perfect. Easy okay, putt that one to read, really. It's quite a consistent break. And we're four under through six. As I said, guys, you want to get to four under through every nine. Um, it'll stand you in good stead. It keeps you. It gives you a thirty-two under finish after four rounds. Um, and now we're teeing her up on the to be competitive, you want six under a nine. Okay, I feel like this is okay. 
don't think I want to do too much with this. Maybe a touch of loft and a touch of spin. Baby touches, and I just got to hit this clean. Beautiful swing. Pushing the slow will really help there. Um, and then just run straight up. I like it. I like Not the cleanest there. swing, but luckily it evened itself out. This putt's tracking. Oof, didn't it's think so, I was going to so break cool. then. But okay, we're on a bit of a run now. We're five under through seven. Quite a straightforward 150 yard par three for you there, really. Most of you will have a 150 in your bag, and that's the perfect club on that hole. Nearly everyone has a, a 150, 152 in their bag, and it doesn't roll out too much. So par four, drivable par four. Deal off this slightly, not much. Yeah, that was a good oh, swing. Well I pushed done. it. That's the problem. I forgot to push up to the left, guys. You can see that's my natural swing. That horrible push right. Um, All right, second but shot on the eighth. We're around the green. We got a chip at it. Could possibly put this. To be fair, my putting's not too bad. Yeah, let's go for a putt. Let's go for a putt here. It's going to break right to left. And then come back. Is it coming back as much as it breaking up my feet? Let's find out. I think it is. I'm going to go back to where I was originally. I've hit that a bit too hard, so that's going to have to break and hit the hole. Oh, oh smash okay. that. <laughs> Absolutely. You have to put a bit of extra power on um, when you're coming out the fringe, but I did not, did not catch that as I wanted to. If I had, I think I would have made that putt, you know. But we are now in a spot of bother coming back up this hill for birdie. Looking really good. But we make it. Yeah, Got to make those recovery putts. Way out. Fine work I was worried about doing that with the chipsy, going straight down that hill. So I thought I'd have more control over the putt. But when you miss your cue on the vibration, and you just keep dragging your thumb through it. We're six under through eight. There's the other Welsh boy, Jono, 15 through 17. T-Tot, Skyline Time, Blaze Ripper, they're all platinum players, guys. Let's see how this As is myself, five. but I play just round one for you guys to um, have nice a bit of a course preview, learn what to do or what not to do on certain holes. This is a nice wide open fairway for you, though, and yeah, this, this par five, ten yards it's a short par five. I'm going to try the 196 in. I hope this stops. Oh, fasted it taking it left this should kick right it should come right off that hill so it's not a bad a bad miss to the left there for the approach. Eight under par is waiting and we have a this putt. 13 foot for the eagle our second eagle attempt after missing the putt on the last Should turn and straighten up, which it does. So, so good. Oh, and that's a glorious way to finish that front nine with an eagle on a very short par five. And the second par four is very gettable as well. That could have been nine under. I think the only one, the par three, the par was a, a fair score on that. It was a tricky 200 yarder. So you open the back nine with a par four tenth. 487 yards nice wide fairway you just play down here there's no risk straight up shot oh, looking good off the tee hit the middle of the fairway check your feet pretty flat 150 yards to the pin i got a 142 as i said i'd rather be short now so i'm going to deal off this a little with a bit of spin hopefully this gets up there hit it clean ah oh, I did my little twerky so butt out, to, the so that's when I don't pull down to the right, guys. What's so this is what I mean by my swing. Approach. You've seen both elements of my natural Let's swing. How you do from the green my natural swing off. when I pull back is that one, which pulls back to the left, which sends it left, weirdly. And my natural swing when I push it forward is to push up to the right, which obviously sends it right. So I try to counter that by pulling down to the right and push up to the left, which seems to counter it, but I just didn't do it on that one. And we've got a chip out of the rough for birdie now, and it all runs away past the hole. So we've got to be careful here. So we'll put some spin on it. Put some spin on it. And there's the chip in for birdie. 
let's take another look at that. That's been a glorious, glorious round since the fourth. My dog's just come in to say hello as well. And you're sitting right there My little shit suit. So if you hear scratching, that's not me. That's the um, dog. He likes to rub his face all over the the mat I'm I'm on for some reason. Looks like a par four for this okay. one. Par four eleventh. Oof. <laughs> You've got to aim. You've got to make this funnel. This is tricky, guys. So this you have to hit pretty true here. So I put some concentration into that swing, and I'm still going to be in that bunker, I think. And Lassie's the designer has made this kick left. We're in trouble. Sit. Oh, no. Don't go in the heavy rough. Make the bunker. Oh, that that's nasty. Cut here. That is nasty, boys. So that is a difficult landing zone. I thought I'd swung well enough to swerve it, but clearly not. We're going to hit the 181 up here. I think this could be very short, though. 160. No, it's going to be very short. Let's hit the 196. A little bit slow. That should help, because 196 was going to be too long. I don't think this is going to sit down any time today, though. This is gone. So this is going to break the, the birdie run we were on, unless I can chip in. To the green. To the green. Maybe we'll go for it. Yeah, not a bad effort. Well judged on that one. I am getting way better at my chips, by the way, guys. Way, way better. I'm chipping in quite a lot. Nine under is your score. So nine through eleven. I'm gonna take that. Probably G and T top to seventeen through eighteen. And teeing it up now on the twelfth. Twelfth. Oh, I don't have a 170 in my bag. This is where I'm at a little bit of a loss with my bag setup right now. And I'm going to change it. Because um, I feel... Nice I took swing. the 170 out to add a 208. I feel, though, I'd use the 170 way more than I use the 208. So I had to loft the 180 here. Not a bad effort, Simply given the, the um, amount of shot yeah, shape that I put on that. Look at birdie. We're going to have to make, make a putt for birdie here. Should turn pretty hard, that hole. which it does. Man, you're making this uh, fun to watch. That's your eighth birdie of the round. Tricky par three there. If you've got a 170, 175 in your bag, you'll be laughing. Sitting at 10 under after that one. We're 10 under through 12. B Huck. Never heard of him before. He's 17. Good on you, fella. Hopefully, you're a challenge circuit player. This one's a par four. Keeping up with the big boys. So the 13th, there's a fair way you can get to by here, which gives you just a little pitch over, or you can play over here. The green is running right to left, so if you're over here, you're gonna run at it. If you're over this side, you're kind of pretty straight. So I might play to here and leave a pitch. Let's just check the yardages from here. From here, it's around 60 yards. From here, yeah, it's longer. So let's let's play the 258 down here. See how this works out for us. I think they should leave us just a pitch over. And here's our second shot on the 13th. 67. It's uphill, so I'm gonna deal off this. Pushing a fast will help, and that should run out a little. And that's a great well shot and a well thought out approach to that hole so you do have your options there guys i think doing what i did there taking a three wood um to that little that little patch of fairway in front of the in front of the trees is the right one this is a fun par four if you can catch this slope you're going to run down let's give it a go oh i've shanked that <laughs> that's the heavy this miss like being a short par four it doesn't really matter um, I didn't want to fast Second that, but I did not want to hit it that badly. Hmm. Gonna have to loft up this. Maybe not that much. Yeah, lofted it a bit like too much the there, but it should sit. That's gonna work just fine on the approach. Okay. Could be a birdie on the it should be a straightforward tap in for birdie there. You go. 
and we are 12 under through 14 and you've got two par fives in your final four holes so it's a nice finish if you are struggling for scores you should at least be getting birdies on a couple of these par fives let's see if any of them are eagle eagleable snake charmers at 16 through 17 looking to match the rest of the top boys so 525 yards nice clean shot at this fairway Nice clean strike. Way better. My swing is getting better. About 195 Maybe 197 in. Here. No, I got a 196 or a 181. Do I want to be long or short here? Hmm. I'm going to loft up the 196 slightly. That feels like a good strike. Now this is going to be long, I think you've found the green but here. it does run uphill past it, so it should stop. Yeah, well, not bad. Now. And from here, twenty feet to the cup. So twenty foot for another eagle opportunity. Let's see how we get on here. It's got to turn a bit more. Oh, it didn't take the break because I saw way more break than that gave. Look, looking back, that is all breaking left to right. Barely that took a sniff of that break. Fine. And my swing line is always pretty straight on my putt, and so there's nothing to do with my swing line. That's a shame. Just didn't quite take the break as it showed it. Let's see how close he can get this one. Uh, but that's all right. Again. We had an opportunity. So from a short par five to a long, long. Mm. I don't know what to do here. I think that's going to go way too long. And that's way too short. But I'm going to play this. I'm going to play it fast. Oh, too fast. And my twerky butt came back. I forgot to pull down to the right. And that sadly is going to be a no man's land over there. Would have been the right well, shot if I could have hit it normally. Green. But this is just a horrible putt now, guys. That, I guess. Uh, just this you, you left yourself a this up and down time. hill is just chaos. I should break some more. Should break some more. Oh, Here comes a three -footer. <laughs> that was a good effort, but sadly, good job not to be. With a par. No, but the par threes on this course are tricky. If you can make birdies on any of them, you're laughing. I'm guessing that's what these boys did at the top. Wes and Nac Diego. Not heard of him either. Stepping on to a par five hole. On Leading the one. way with the others. So 550 yard par five. Another nice open fairway. So they are giving you opportunities. Just got to walk through that door. Yeah, See if work. we can put one close. All right. Hitting into an elevated green. Ooh. I'm going to hit the 208. This is a tricky pin position, guys. This is not for the faint hearted. And I've caught that a little too slow. That's going to kill any hope of getting up there. But it does leave us a chip. This is your third shot. And we did claim to be Andrew, four strokes way better at chipping you. now. But that's not going to turn left enough. No, that went straight. Great chip shot there. Pure. That's pure. And if this drops, that's a shame. A here. That's a shame. And sitting at two eagleable par fives on the close there. And we just made a two under. If we'd got both them, we'd have a shot at tie-in with all those boys at 17. I'm imagining a few of them eagled at least one of those par fives. If not both. Now on the, final hole of this but course. the 18th then is 499 yards. So it's a long 18th. You've got options either side of this tree. I'm not playing down there though. I'm going to play at this tree. Let's see what we can do. Great swing. Pushing a slope. We'll even that out. Okay, about 170 yards to the pin. And we got a 64 in. As well. Gonna have to de loft it a little. This should be okay. Didn't quite catch it. I think I'm looking at two mile per hour winds as being way more than they should be. But we have a putt. 12 feet left to the hole. See if we can curl one in. No, oh, it's getting there. No, just, just, a little bit just of off. There. Well, there you go, guys. And the challenge done. circuit for the week. 14 See under. Relatively straightforward course, I think. Nice. Right. 
Only one fairway was tricky for you to hit. Should be scoring. I think you should be scoring between 10 and 10 and 12 under on that round. 14 has only got me tie 19th, guys. So you can see the the plethora of players at 17 and 16 under. Most of them are are platinum players. But there we go. Hope you enjoyed. Please do leave a like and subscribe. It does help me out massively. Peace out and have a good week and good luck out there.